Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome back to this wonderful and amazing channel. If you are, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share and like any of our videos. If you are a returning subscriber or watcher, you are welcome. Thank you so much for your time. For making out time average out of a busy schedule to tune in to watch our videos god bless you so much thank you This is 125 grams. Can you see? 125 grams, which is equivalent to 4.4 ounce. 4.4 ounce. Help 25 grams. Now, let's skip that aside. Now, this is our mixing bowl. This is water. This is 300 ml of water. 300 ml of water. You can start with 250 ml, depending on the potency of your caustic soda. So I'm using 300 ml of water. Remember, your water fed before your lye. You gradually add it. Then you will stir. Make sure it is all properly before you can keep it outside. Can you see the fumes coming out? Can you see the fumes? Can you see the fumes coming out? Oh, you can see the fumes. So after this, you have to keep it aside. Keep it aside for it to cool down a bit or for 12 hours before you can gauge it. Okay, it has been some um, hours, like six hours now I fermented, I dissolved this caustic soda. Like I said, you can leave yours for 12 hours or 24 hours or even the next 48 hours. But make sure that it has cooled down completely before you can gauge it. Now what are we going to use for the um, reading? I'll be, I'll be using this. It's not a much you use it, but I'm demonstrating for you to see the kind of uh, bottle you can use. A conical bottle, a bottle that is conical, that have this shape, be it glass um, container, be it a um, strong plastic container, but make sure it's something that when you dip the, the hydrometer to be able to float, to float. Do you understand? So let's get started. I have to remove this level so that when I'm reading, you'll be able to, to read with me. Okay, this should be okay. Let's get a hydrometer.
This is the hydrometer. This is it. This is how it looks. Okay, if this is the first time I've seen it. This is what um, it's uh, it's used in in. And it's used in industries to verify the concentration of liquid solutions. Yes, the hydrometer has its limitations, but it will work fine for testing caustic soda solution and um, um, sodium carb um, sodium carbonate solution, sodium um, sulfate solution, and soda ash solution. Do you get? So let's. Let me show you. Okay, gently bring it out for it not to break. Now, see, when you dip this, like, I've used this to dissolve the caustic soda. If I did this hydrometer in it, can you see that it doesn't flow? It doesn't flow. So that's why you need a conical container in order to the hydrometer to flow. I need somewhere to keep this. Okay. Make sure the container is neat. Make sure you rinse it very well. Now you add, you pour in the hydrometer gently. You can use funnel. You can have a specific, specific funnel for doing um, production. You can use it and fill the flask gently and make sure you always put on your gloves to so avoid the chemical splashing on you on your hands or peeling your hands or irritating your hands but I can walk my way through without putting on gloves Okay, now watch. Can you see that it's flowing? It's floating. Can you see? Can you see it? I don't know how to play it so I can see it very well. Can you see? Can you see where the where the um the reading is it's let me use the other one to be demonstrating for you that is to understand what i'm talking about this is actually a broken one but just watch you understand what i'm trying to demonstrate here look inside this bottle the caustic soda is Is in between uh, is between one three zero can you see in between one three zero which is too is too um strong it's too strong so we have to add water in order to um lighten it to make it softer one three zero depending on what you are working if you are if it's laundry bar soap you are working on if it's bathing soap each of them has um a limit yes each of them has a limit where you can gauge it if it's one two seven five if it's one two five zero if it's one two two five if it's one two zero zero if it's one one seven five anywhere you are reading supposed to be that is where the concentration of what you dissolve should be so now this cost six soda I dissolved is here one three zero can you see Hope you all can see. It's one three zero zero. But now the constitution we are looking at should be one two seven five.
Now, what do we do? You should add water. You should add water in order to so in um to losing the 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 concentration. In order for the concentration concentration to come up a bit, the more you are adding water, the more it's coming up, coming up. Now, what of in the case where after dissolving your caustic soda, you either use too much water or something else happened or you use um, um low um caustic soda small amount of caustic soda to dissolve in your water what will happen it will come up the concentration the concentration will be low it will come up here now what do you do in that case you add more caustic soda gradual by gradual what do you how do you do it you pour in back the caustic soda the dissolved one let's assume this this particular one the concentration is low let's assume it's at 1175 can you see 1175 and you want it to be at 1250 what do you do you take it back and pour it into this bowl the mixing bowl then you add caustic soda gradually just little by little when you add little quantity you stir you mix it when you mix it you pour it back that's why i said you should have a, 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 a particular funnel for your production you pour it back into your conical um bottle then you now read after reading if it's still um if the concentration is still low you pour it back again add caustic soda and mix and change that's how you've been doing it until you'll be doing it until you get to the actual concentration of one two two uh, five, one two five zero that you're looking at but now in this case the caustic soda concentration is one three is at one three zero zero and we want it to be at can you see we want it to be i don't know that this camera is capturing this and we want it to be at can you see okay now it is at one three zero zero and you want we want it to be at one two five zero now what do we do you have to add water in here i have 100 ml of water remember we have used 300 ml to dissolve 125 gram of caustic soda now i should be adding the water gradually i don't think all these 100 ml can uh, can enter here but in case If you notice it's coming up the solution is coming up why the hydrometer is going down don't know how best i can video this so that you all can see Okay, now it's at one two seven five. So that it can mix properly. Let me do it this way. Take your mixing rod and mix. I'll pour it back. The 
neat you can as well get a filter a strainer for your production i have a strainer for my production anytime i dissolve my chemicals if there are particles in it which i don't want i use my strainer can you see and strain it It's at exactly 1275. I don't know how to do it so that you all can see. I don't know how to capture this. That you all, you all can see what I'm talking about. This is where it is right now. At this. 1275. Can you all see? That is at the second line. The first line is for one three. Can you see? Okay. The first line is for one three zero zero. Why the second black line that is up? That is up the one three zero zero is for one two seven five. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know I don't know how else to explain for um, everyone to understand this line here this first one is for one three zero zero it's for number one three zero zero number one three zero zero why the second number the, sorry the second line is for one two seven five so the the line of each number comes below the number do you understand now the line of each number comes below the number. For instance, let, show me the line for 1200. Zero, zero. The line for 1200. Zero, zero. The line for 1200 zero, zero. is below 1200. Zero, zero, so that is this. It is now at 1275. 1200. Seven five. I don't know how to capture this so that you can see. Can you see? Oh, God. It's going to work like this. Okay. Can you see? Don't mind the particle that is there. Just focus on the line. Okay. Can you see now? Can you all see? It has exactly 1275. Sorry, I didn't use, I didn't add all the 100 ml of water the second time. What I used was um, 75 ml of water. Why am I saying this? For those that don't have hydrometer. Assume you are using 100 gram of cosmic soda for production for, for production of your laundry basket. The quantity of water to be used in laundry will be 300 ml of water. That's 100 times 3 gives you 300. 125 times 3 gives you 375 ml. That's how you use it. Assuming you are also to use 500 gram to be 500 gram of cosmic soda for production all you do is just do the little math 500 times 3 will give you 1500 